Guys, episode 81, what is going on? It's August. How the fuck is it already August? I don't know. What even is a day or a month or a year? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Does COVID, not matter. COVID, no calendar. No calendar. No. Does not matter, okay? I'll tell you what does matter. What? Uh, the merch crushed, all right? Yo, guys, holy shit. Thank you so much for buying all the merch. Uh, you guys are sending us pictures of you guys in it. You look so good. Holy shit, you guys look so good. And so good, what we're going to do is we guys are going to give you... More merch. Trav, you want to Boom. Tell what it is? We're going to do a little giveaway or something. So we ordered a few extra pieces after a lot of it sold out really quick. And we're like, yo, we should do like a little giveaway or something. So we're going to pick some people who uh, give us five stars on iTunes, rate us on iTunes, and, you know, leave a little nice little note and then put your Instagram at the bottom so we can know um, if you're coming from the episode and also so we can contact you directly and let you know what you want. But on top of that, uh oh, how about. We give away some Patreon memberships, huh? Fuck! We're giving away two free Patreon memberships for a year. How long? One mother hooking year. That's 52 goddamn episodes. And it also includes all of the year that we've previously recorded. So it's about two years of content. So you're getting two years of goddamn content of the wacky wild uh, Michael Blaustein talking about fucking cantaloupes and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> I mean, well, this episode, we talk about some great stuff. So yeah. anyways, um, that's all we wanted to say. Go and give us five stars on iTunes and we'll be picking a few people for some free merch and also two people to win Patreon memberships. See you in the comments. Boom. Don't forget to put your Instagram handle so we know which ones to choose. Onward with the episode. Bada boom bing. This is a Ted Bundy dildo. This was in the Stiff Socks DM. Y'all been talking about the Ted Bundy dildo. Um, it's made from a real human bone, but it's like, what? It's like a like, it's like a bone dildo. Oh, it's not an actual bone. No, it is real bone. No, that's, that's what this says. It's human so, bone. So apparently, there's a thing you buy a Ted Bundy dildo. Just call it the Bundy dildo. Shut up. With it from a website <laughs> called. This is a cast from a real human bone. Serious. Let me see. if This is a real thing. It's not real human bone, dude. Serial pleasures. Bo That's gotta be terrible. My grandma's bones in there. Hold on. There's a sex toy in murder mobilia. Murder mobilia. There should be no memorabilia about murder. I, have you ever been to the murder museum in uh, L.A.? I'm too scared. It's actually I really hate, fascinating. I hate shit like that. Or what's it called? Serial yeah. condoms, bro. What is, it? bro? You can buy condoms with serial killers. I hate this. I hate this. I just got like the chills looking. This is fucking out of there, dude. They, they're like really sexualized. There's like when you're when you're a serial killer in jail. There's like women that come like where like they can the, the serial killer can look outside and they like sit in the parking lot with signs and shit and like throw their panties up. Uh, but yeah, so it's a 1.5 long dildo specially designed for true crime lovers. The Bundy li, Bun, oh, fuck. Bun, can we phone a friend here? The Bundy Lido is guaranteed to bone you to death. Shut up! up. I'm so upset. Uh, you're fucking using cannibal bones to fist your asshole, and you want to put a pun in there? Dude. 150 shipping included. I'd hope for 150. Here's how I know this motherfucker's insane. It's a hotmail email. It's and what? Fuck! God, I hate this website already. Use a hotmail. What the fuck is going on here? A bone. It, have Look we found this. out if it's a human bone? I don't know. Let me see this. But it is it, is 10.5 inches. Why not just round up or down? 10.5 is massive. 10.5. I don't even go understand what that go is. Go to 10. Don't even go to 10. Don't make me feel bad. 10.5? You know who's fucking everybody? Is Subway. Footlongs, not a foot long. They're like literally like 10 inches. I've never even measured. I, I did. And it's Pissed. 10 inches? It's like around like 10.5 to 11. How? They're just like foot long. First what is all, a foot long? The audacity. Of fucking subway. There's to a not foot give us the full foot somewhere. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're just like, eh, it's a foot long. It's the same size as my foot. Oh, is that what they do? There's actually a lawsuit, apparently. Really? Yeah. That's so funny. Somebody would sue them. I'll sue them. What, yeah. is, what is it? False marketing? Yeah, false marketing. The, the 12 inches weren't 12 inches and the 6 inches weren't 6 inches. Wow. Uh, well, I know 6 inches when I see it. Oh, hold it. No. I, Put it in my What? I think if I no if because mine's not a full six. Really? I don't think Wait, so. You're not six. If if I how do you measure your dick again? No, from your asshole. <laughs> no. You put a ruler mine's, behind you. Mine's eleven inches. Then. Oh yeah, I put it on the wall behind me while I'm outside. Measure from the back. You ain't six. Come I'm, on. 
I'm six. I'm six. I'm, I'm six. Yo, I'm making a fucking little geeky go 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 joke joke. I'm just saying, I'm four inches. <laughs> that is probably why Subway thought they could get away with it though, because they're like, dude, ah, yeah, the, everyone thinks, up. yeah, the dudes round up, so they're gonna see the six inch and be like, yeah, that's that's six. Yeah, you yeah. gotta round up, right? I'm six and a half, but that's me rounding up. I'm four, a I'm a solid six. Four I yards. feel like you can't round up to a point five. Well, I just did. So sue me, you fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Point five, yeah, it is kind of a jump. But what, who even knows, you know? I don't think anyone knows the exact proper way to measure a pee I don't think anyone knows that. I don't think there's a uniformed in the Constitution, Ben Franklin signed way to measure a pee I mean, there's got to be a way. How do you know? <laughs> what do you mean? You put a ruler at the like the base, but don't push in. The problem is, is you push, you go to the base, and then you push in where the little fat is and get that yeah. extra point. Dude, the, the last time I measured my dick, I pierced my gallbladder. <laughs> but you know what's so funny is like the difference between 6.4 and like 6.5 is drastic. Like if a girl's like, how big are you? You're like, ah, like you're measuring and she's on the other side. Yeah. What is it? You see 6.4 in your eyes, but you're like, yeah, it's like 6.5. 6.5. Six, five. Six, five. What does it matter? If you I'm still even, piping? If I'm even close to 6.5, I'm seven. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Are we okay. talking centimeters or inches? I don't know. I hate when people say centimeters. No one knows what that fucking means. It sounds means. like it's centipede. Has, have you ever measured your dick in front of a lady? No. That's Wait, the thing that maybe, happens. Maybe. Oh, okay. I watched porn with the lady for the first time. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, was it outside, you fucking cucks? <laughs> nah. I, it was inside. It was okay. controlled. Uh, fired up the porn hub. It was like an idea like she brought to the table. And I was like, okay. I love this. It, but I was nervous because there's judgment going on. Because what you going to search? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because there's there's two. It's like <laughs> there's two versions of this. You, ladies, you don't want to see what a man watches when he's by himself watching porn. You don't want to see no. what he looks like. Like it's not like we're not our, like we're in there hunched over like the hunchback. Like we're sweating for place we didn't even know we could sweat. There's the like, back of our knees. Yeah, you're just like hunched over and you're just like typing like words that don't even make sense. You're like tit ass fuck. You're just making noises. <laughs> well, you're, you're also like everything in the world is blacked out. You're not thinking about anything but mm -mm. nut, 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 yeah. nut. Nah. So when I'm in there, I'm clicking around, but like I start started to feel judgment because yeah. i'm like i click a video she's like oh and i was like well, don't, what? that's the one you click well i was like what do you pay she's like i don't know i don't really watch porn i was like right but like which one attracts your eyes she's like well i don't i don't know i just kind of like watch whatever and i'm like now i'm sitting there like trying to play it cool and be like okay don't click asshole gets blasted with gogurt porn in front of me <laughs> Yo, you just and you're like you click the most vanilla porn ever you're like guy marries wife after Six years, falls in love, raises family, family stays together. Comes back from the war. Like you have to, dude. Has golden retriever puppy not included in the video because of bestiality remarks. You know what I would do? I think the best way to do it is you just find a porn that closest, or porn star that closest resembles her. You just click bang, bang. And then you go, this is the one I always watch. She goes, oh, that's weird. Like it looks just, yes, it does. Even though you don't watch, you watch fucking zombie oh, porn when you're yeah. by yourself. But I think that's the move. When you you click very vanilla stuff. I, vanilla, but also I think, I'm telling you, I think the porn star has to look like your girl. Yeah. I because mean, you can't go, you can't go like Venezuelan porn. It's got to be, it's got to be right down the line exactly what your girlfriend is. Because you like. think the girl would be like, oh, this is what he really wants in a woman? 100%. You got to go right. You, you might, you might, oh no, what did you choose? <laughs> I think I, I clicked a few different videos, but like I, in a midst, I like maybe I clicked one that was blonde and she's brunette, and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, no, you can't do that. Yeah, no, she's listening right now, but for 100%. sure. 100%. Uh, you got it. You got it. Hi, honey. So, what? <laughs> hey, sweetie. So, what did you, um, what did you end up on? We clicked around, just watched a random one. Um, did you watch like Netflix? What, what, what happened? What, what do you mean, Netflix? We watched well, porn. We, we found one that worked. There and we go. We, uh, you know, but like, she doesn't really watch a lot of porn, so it was like, for her, it was more so like, if we paused the video at the same time, our thoughts would be separate. Like, I'd be like, damn, we should try that. That's crazy. She fucking putting her asshole on a goddamn ceiling fan. And then she's like, yeah, but like, how does she get her asshole so pink? How do you bleach an asshole? Then you look over and she's just Googling how to bleach an asshole. And you're like, what? You're not even here with this me. This is for research, right? <laughs> yeah, she's like, she's so flexible. Did she do, do gymnastics? And she gets on Groupon to find a fucking gymnastics yeah, exactly. teacher. Is you're she like, paleo? No. How does she get her eyes look so bright? Fuck. You know, I'm just like, oh, shit. It's How does that tit look so moist? 
<laughs> yeah, it was weird. But at first it was weird. Then we kind of like found one that was like that just like worked. But like the weirdest part was like we're like hooking up, going after or whatever. And then like the dude starts talking and I'm like with one hand, I'm like feeling around the keyboard. I'm like, shut up. I hate when the, when the guy starts talking. I hate it. Here's here's the question, though. Like, what do you look at? You can't look if you if you're fucking your girl and you look over the porn mid fuck. Oh. There's gonna be a ferocious <laughs> fight. Nah, it's like a, it's kind of like a uh, the it's fire. A, it's just it's a soundtrack. It's, yeah, well, it was more so like uh, you know how they have those logs you throw on a fireplace that are like easy starters. You know they're already yes. like doused in gasoline. It's like a yeah. starter. You know you look at it, peep back and forth, but then you just get in the zone. You know right, but you can't peep back and forth. If she literally, because think about it, flip it. If oh. y'all were fucking and she looked over at the porn, oh, you'd be like, huh? Throw my laptop in a water bed. Does he do it for you? With yeah. his bone dick. But that's why I like an activity like that could be detrimental, but it also it could is. be really hot. Eventually it got really hot. So it, it was good. But I just felt nervous at first. I was like, what? I, Cause like what guys watch his porn? Like, did you watch the show, Dave? Yeah. You know where the part where he's like really into that milking porn uh-huh. where he like gets a dick jack, like jerks through a hole in the table. That's literally real shit for a majority of dudes. They watch crazy. There's a reason that girl had 20,000 views pouring a white claw down her asshole in that porn. It was 20,000 guys who were very like interested. 26, 27 now. But um, dudes get off to weird shit. And I'm not saying every time I get off some weird shit, but sometimes you're just browsing and you're like, I'm curious. Uh-huh. What's going on here? Y'all be having Hold a on. goddamn orgasm on a top of a fiat on a freeway you can fit a unicycle in there god damn <laughs> it's like curiosity and then you start clicking other shit it's the same way you know when you click somebody's instagram and then you click that tag person and then you take and then you go to a different profile yep. and then before you feel like, like 10 minutes later you're like who are these i'm looking at like some third grade teacher in wyoming and yeah. you're like how did i get from here from a kellogg's picture right that's like what porn is, where you start and then all of a sudden, before you know it, you're watching porn you did not know existed. Yeah, they're like fucking inside of a refrigerator and you're like, I, how do you how do you even fit in there? Right. How are you not freezing? I don't get it. I don't get Why it. Why is he so big in a fridge? Wouldn't you be small? I'm going to try it. I don't know. Using a mitten as a condom? Stop it. A um, as a condom. You know what I would be very nervous about is, because <clears throat> I, I think I've done this maybe once before, but it was like a very quick like browse and then we started fucking. It wasn't like this whole like, let's peruse for a second and well, see she what was like, I want to watch the plot thick and I was like, plot? <laughs> this isn't Aaron Sorkin. I want to walk into the movie theater at the end for porn. I want to walk in and be like, oh, y'all fucking? All right, cool. I'm going to sit down. All right, I'm going to leave. Yeah, there's no popcorn. Yeah, no, I, I don't. There's no popcorn. There's mm. one juju fruit and I'm coming. That's that's what it is. Yeah, no, I, I don't need background information. I don't need no. to know who's coming to Thanksgiving dinner or not. I just yeah. want nut. Yeah, what cable company does it work for? Shut up. Nobody cares. Like, does um, she pay the rent? Like, that always happens in the videos. She asks for the rent. The, doesn't have it. They fuck. But at the end, the guy just leaves. And it's like. Okay, well, who's paying the mortgage here? How pissed would Semen. you be if you said yes to that? And the moment you come, you're like, fuck, I still need the rent. <laughs> yeah, right. Or you just nut in two seconds. You're like, damn, was that really worth $2,000 of this mansion? Fuck. Fuck. Um, oh, what I was saying was, is watching porn is very like by yourself activity. Yes. You've been ingrained to you or a kid to watch it by yourself. So then it's like, you ever been you ever been like uh, typing on a computer and then someone looks over you as you're typing? It's like it's like get 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 well, away. Also, I type so much like slower so and like bad. my fingers <laughs> look like bugs coming to life. You know, they're just not. It, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I you you constantly probably. feel you're being judged because it's yeah. a very like alone activity, and that's what that? porn is to me. It's like it's a it's I do it by myself all the time, so I'm the one con- for, like fully controlling this. Right. And now you add someone else. Well, you're not in. thinking about somebody else. You're not no. thinking about like what are they going to think if I click that. No, I'm the pilot of this plane. I didn't ask for a goddamn co-pilot. Now there's a co-pilot and the co-pilot. Goddamn like, Uber pool, my cock. <laughs> yeah, the fucking co-pilot's like, I don't think that's FDA approved. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but so you guys just you guys went just very like just straight. We clicked down around because I didn't know like why, and then she was like, Well, which one like would you usually watch? And I was like, I literally don't know. You that's like part of the game. It's like the more you click around, the more you like zone out the world, and then you're eventually just like, oh shit, MILF gets fucked by a pool ball. <laughs> and then you just and you just come and you go, I'm a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. And then once I got out of my head, uh, it was normal again, but it's like, so what you guys, you guys just landed on just like just doggy style in I the forest. I what it was, but I, I think they both had, uh, accents. I think they were not from the United States. Okay. That's hot. 
Yeah. God damn. damn. Guys, guess what? It's the mother effing summer. And you know what that means? Holy shit, it's so hot to sleep. But hot in. not these motherfucking sheets. My Why, sheet. cuz? My sheets rock, baby. Uh, these sheets are fucking amazing. They gave us a pair. Uh, put them on my bed. Holy shit. Literally just, I, they keep me so cool, it's stupid. So it's meant to be a nice, cool sleep. You, you like the underside of the pillow? Imagine that, but everywhere. Everywhere. Dude, Greta, my dog? loves it dude she's yeah. recently started sleeping on my bed she will not get out i, I love a nice cold bed where you just get in and you cover yourself you know it's like a free ice bath baby uh, i dude, love it i don't know how they do it but it just the sheets are cold but uh, i can i can tell you how they do it oh yeah okay. so the ones that we got the regulator sheets uh they're designed specifically to keep hot sleepers cold and cold sleepers comfortable so what they do is they use uh what's called bamboo rayon which is oh, like the holy grail of sheets hey. uh it's like a miracle ma material it transfers body heat two times more uh, effectively than regular sheets and it reduces humidity by 50 percent, so you can experience your best night's sleep yet my favorite thing, I love the cold sleep. My legit personal favorite thing, and I don't know why other ones don't do this. They should patent this shit for sure. But in each of the corners of the sheets, it says like, oh, this one goes in the top right. This goes top left. I was like, how have I, do you know how many times I put the shit on like a choke, like just awkward, just like halfway? Yeah. Like it's just like all long on the sides for no reason. I'm like, well, that'll work. It's incredible. Yo, so go on mysheetsrock.com slash socks and the promo code socks and you get 10% off and free shipping. shipping and if that's not enough go ahead and check out all their five-star customer reviews speaks for itself baby plus a 90-day risk-free trial and free shipping and returns all right one last time that's mysheetsrock.com slash socks promo code socks god damn what accent really gets you going australian fuck why'd you say that because it does all right <laughs> does it not oh <laughs> Was old girl Australian? Yeah. Yeah, but she didn't talk like that, did yeah, she? Yeah, she did. Really? She talked like a fucking didgeridoo, this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> are didgeridoos the ones that are like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Could yeah, it be oh, a more oh. annoying instrument? Uh, Why? Bag, did he... Bagpipes. Yeah, but no, bag, bagpipes bag, are kind of hard. I'm bag not going to you're like, all right, are we drinking? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> didgeridoo, you're like... Is a tornado coming or or did like 14 lambs just get sacrificed? <laughs> What's the one that has like the rain, like the beat that sounds like the rain? You twist it over. I think it's like a rain stick. Rain stick. That's yeah. a rain stick? That's is that hard. like an actual instrument or that's to uh, make rain? It's the same way that a triangle is an instrument. That's hilarious. You know what's great? This is what's hilarious to me is like on the didgeridoo, there's someone out there that's fire. Oh, yeah. There's someone out there that like people buy tickets to watch this fucking idiot play didgeridoo like they're Bro. like oh my god steve jackson he's playing good i mean there's bought. probably some fire covers of like future but on the didgeridoo i would something. love to watch the you name didgeridoo sounds great i'm gonna name my go for that anyways you ever <laughs> my one instrument i loved growing up was uh steel drums you ever hear some steel drums that shit's fire oh my god the fucking i feel like i'm in the caribbeans yeah like, uh, the caribbeans what isn't it the caribbean isn't it one or they're multiple <laughs> Gabe, the Caribbean? Gabe, look it up. I think it's just, I think it's the Caribbean. Well, it's so good that I feel like I'm in multiple of them. All I right? love it. The thing, bring, bop, the, yeah. I can't even like make the noise in my head, but it's I'm just, like, it's so fun. It's I really love nice. It. You know what I love watching on, on Instagram? I forget this dude's name, but I want to give him a big shout out because he's so great. You ever see the dude that plays ukulele and then the rapper raps next to him? Oh, Einer I Banks. I love that shit. Einer Banks. Einer Banks? E-I-N-E-R -E Banks. I um, yeah, sorry, whatever it is, man, it's... Please keep doing it. It's so good. I don't like know if I, I said that right, but E I N E R space banks with okay. a Z, so you know it got bars. Um, dude, I love mu it. musical talent is just so cool to just like watch. Or like when, I love when people do uh, sh like cross two worlds. Like somebody will like play flute to like you know just real trap shit or just like future, just yeah, like yeah, Chief yeah. Keef. Um, have you ever seen that video of the Migos where they're? It's like I forget they're like with an orchestra, but they play a song like Hannah Montana. Shit, but there's like a full on orc show in the back. And then like, it's like, it's all the, the Migos, dude. I forget. I think this was at when um, uh, one of the dudes off. I think it was when Offset was locked up. So it was just like take off and Quavo. But it's just so funny. They're just like, zun, zun, zun. Hannah, <laughs> Hannah Montana. But it's literally like, I can watch that all day. But like, I they're just in shit. the studio. And then there's like a dude just like, dun, dun, dun. 
I love that. My my favorite thing ever. I, I like that too. But my favorite thing ever is when uh you go acoustic, like just straight acoustic on like a song that that is originally produced, like heavily produced, just straight fucking singing uh, like a very heavily produced song is. I fucking love it. My, just uh, no music at all. My little brother Liam is uh, like a ukulele protege. He's really good. First of all, is it ukulele or? <laughs> um, I, I hate you. I mean, is this right? You know what? Okay. Retract. I'm going to say <laughs> something, right. but I don't know if it's right or wrong. Okay. okay. Like when people call ukulele, the ukulele. The ukulele. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, it might be like that. It probably is, is but right. It, but, but does it sound like I'm too much like, like yes. trying to be like yes. fit in with the culture? Be like, hey, you guys doing the ukulele? Yes. <sighs> you I bought that at the Hawaiian airport. Just shut up. All right? Yeah. Well, I think if you're actually, mom, actually Hawaiian, you can say ukulele. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Liam, ukulele. He plays ukulele. And he, uh, I remember we were growing up and he used to do a cover of the, fuck, what's the song? He it got bitches like doing a, that? How is he? Hell yeah, he got bitches. Yeah, he got bitches doing that. Uh, but he used fuck. to do if like a, a rap bitch. cover on the ukulele. It's fucking so cool. If you play an instrument... It's just, it's not even an instrument, it's just having a talent. Dude, there was this girl I was talking to on Bumble that I was like, oh, she's cool, but you know, she's, it was, I was, I, she was like cool to me. I was like, oh, she's cool. And then I checked her Instagram, and her first thing is her singing her I fucking vagina singing. off. And she hit this fucking cover of some shit. And I was like, God, be my wife. I love it. When a girl sings and it's fucking good. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's like <sighs> some of my favorite artists are just like the RB genre of just like pure just talent. Yeah. Yeah. You, just, you just hear it and you're like, oh, I'm a bad bitch. Yeah, I just, your Uber just, driver's like, what? And you're like, shut up. <laughs> but there's something about it. For you. you could be like a six, but if you can sing your tits off, nine, yeah, marry me. I mean, bro. Take my kid. Dude, some of these amazing singers, you see a picture of them and you're like, interesting concept. For, also, have you seen what Adele looks like these days? Uh, She's she yeah. got like crazy work done, lost a lot of weight. She like literally looks like a different person. I'm gonna say something a little controversial here. Uh oh, don't like it. You like? I literally though? think she she was to me she was much better looking before all of it because she was just I don't know that's just I mean, my opinion. I thought I thought she was really I thought she was really attractive before. I really did. Well, I think it's interesting because it's <clears throat> like um, in the eye of the at least in my overall take yeah. is like. You get money and then you're like, okay, well now I'm rich. Like I can like change my body. So like in a sense, it like replicates like this is a new person. You sure. Know? Yeah. So it's kind of like it, if the music is different, then you're like, ah, oh, fuck, I miss, you know, old Adele. But if the music is the same, do whatever the hell you want. You oh, know? dude, it's a hundred percent do whatever you want. Like, I mean, it's her body. She can literally do whatever she right, wants. Right, I'm right. just saying like, from my opinion, like aesthetically, the whole like, look at you, you've got work done kills it for me. Like, I just, I, I much prefer, I mean, I don't even like, I've just said this before, I love when girls don't wear makeup. I think it's literally the hottest thing in the world. Yeah. When, like, a girl, like, literally just wears, like, just mascara and, like, some, like, lip gloss, just, like, very mm -hmm. minimalist. I think it's so hot. Yeah, but, I mean, was her, hers was a lot of work done, or did she just work out a lot and eat right, or was it a combination of both, or? The only thing I heard was that she, you know what's so funny is you just said she got a lot of work done, so, like, that's where my brain went, that she did get a lot of work done, but I, I thought it was just that, the only information I have, I thought she just got, uh, like, just worked out and, like, lost a bunch of weight. No. Um, I don't I, know. I mean, know. You, you, I mean, I'm all for bettering your body. It's just, like, when people, like, get, like, their like their first large chunk of money, and then they're like, well, there goes my nose, here goes my, you know, it's like, yeah. it, it almost seems like you're, like, fitting into, like, what society wants to view you as instead of, like, if you stay the person who you were when you got famous. Right, But right, it, right. it's hard to say because neither of us are in that position where we're, like, fucking racking in mills and you're like shit i do need a new pinky toe why yeah, wouldn't i get that it, it's also like i'm positive that not positive but i mean whatever i, I feel like there's they've been self-conscious about that specific things for a lot of their years and now they have the yeah. financial ability to do it yeah no i, so I do I, it and I, and I think i'm very like i think i if i had that i would definitely get a new nose i would definitely get veneers yeah, would you really probably you if would was, really was, get a new nose if i was racked out racked out 50 yes. million in your account right now you get a new nose yes but then everyone would know you got a new nose what would you get a little button nose I just would take some off the top. Oh, we I, talked about it before, yeah. I'm you, just tired of looking like fucking somebody on Mount Rushmore. All right, this shit, the nose is, it's fine front on, but the side, I don't know. But but then again, it's like these people who get so much money, it's like you bought the house, you bought the car, you're like, you're just literally thinking about things to upgrade. And you're like, oh, yeah. I could fucking upgrade myself. Like, wouldn't she is so goddamn rich. Like, almost, it's almost like one of those, like, why wouldn't you? Even if somebody was like, 
Oh, that's a weird place to have a freckle. The next day, 10 grand, freckle gone. 10 grand. Yeah, I mean, I think my take on it is if you do, like, if you do a little, if you try to try to keep it just natural looking, because it's yeah. very apparent when someone doesn't look natural and it's just, and listen, there are a lot of people that are into that look. I'm just, for my personal opinion, like, I like the more, like, natural feeling person so yeah. if you know if you got a little if you if you got racked out and got a little bit of a beep 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 great it would probably still look very natural but i'm talking about if you got like a fucking button nose if you look like nah yeah nah i would just do a quick little trim like literally like a super cuts <laughs> type you know like a little people hate on super cuts every time i went to super, super cuts, cuts is trash nope i as a child one time i went there and they cut my motherfucking ear with razors and then the girl just puts uh, rubbing alcohol on it, and she goes, um, "Well, you don't have to pay for this haircut." I was like, uh, "You think?" Yeah, I had to. What pay am I going to tip you an extra nine dollars for making me lose weight on my blood? Yeah, I also paid for it already with my blood. You fucking whore. Nah, Supercuts trash. Um, no, every time I went to Supercuts, I I disagree with you. Every time I went Where to Supercuts, did you haircut recently? Fucking nah, Supercuts. Nah, Supercuts. No, I just, the nah, opposite I of Supercuts. It was it was a little. It was the reason I'm head to say it was a little pricey. I had her come to my place. We both wore masks. Yeah, that's a thing. <clears throat> that's very much a thing. Uh, but but it was the first time that I spent that much money on a haircut and felt fine about it. Really? Yeah, because was all because she came to your house. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was like a. It, it felt like a. It felt like a. Like what wealthy people do when yeah. they like. Yeah, when they have. But they have like just hire people, people to come to their house. Rich people don't leave the house. Wow. Is, think about it. You need groceries yeah. delivered. You need haircut delivered. Like anything you would need is just brought to you. Is that the idea of wealth? Is that when you know you're wealthy when you literally do not have to leave your house? Yeah, but I like leaving the house. I love leaving the house. I, like it's so, those days when you don't leave the house all day. I feel like shit. But like the next day you're like, all right, I got to go and do something. But like these motherfuckers just like, okay, like what do I need? Oh, the chef, boom. Need this, boom. Like, but they broccoli. can't leave their house. That's the point. Right. That's horrendous. Right. But there should be like, I don't know. I mean, f yeah. What do you do? Like, what do you do if you're just like what Jason you Statham and you're like, I want a goddamn Subway sandwich. Can't. You can, but you got to go with people. You got to go with people, or you got to be like, or you go somebody, or you go somewhere like that's so out of your lane that the people there wouldn't recognize you. Like if you're Chris Hemsworth and, and, and you just go to like, and you just pull up to a random like taco spot on the side of the street that nobody's at, you're probably fine. I don't think so. Chris really? Hemsworth is so famous. He's also huge and he has long blonde hair, hot as fuck. You got to you, drive and you see like a random fruit cart or, or you're just driving and you see like a, a quick little, I don't even fucking know. I, I, but I, you, I don't think you can be that. I don't think you can be Chris Hemsworth level fame. You got to be like maybe a rung or two lower. I think Jason Statham can do that. I think he's not. I mean, he's definitely not as famous as Chris Helmsworth. He could he could do like a maybe like a little taco spot. I can get on board with that. But but Chris Helmsworth, no, he is famous. Really? Well, yeah, dude. He was four. I know. I was saying like, what is something so out of his league that if he went there, people would just be like, oh, it's probably just somebody's dad. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, maybe if you went to like a crocheting class. <laughs> <laughs> what you, yeah, yeah. Fucking an old, uh, what's that shit called? We just do uh, aerobics. Homes? Oh, yeah, what? you do aerobics in the water pool. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. In the water pool. You fucking idiot, Trevor. What pool isn't water? Pudding? Pudding. Hey! <laughs> Dude, how was that a thing in mud wrestling back then? Like what? Like every college, back, like 10 we years? We had it. At, really? Yeah, we had I it. I feel like every, every every American Pie movie, they're like, well, it's Friday night, and fucking who's trying to wrestle in the KY jelly pit? Where do they get all that mud from? What? So many questions. Where do they get the girls that are down? Yeah, who, how, what do you, what do they do when they win? They, You've never seen, like, you sort of see maybe a winner, but like, what do they get? Girls won't even go out to a club or a bar if it's raining outside. Meanwhile, like, hey, you don't even a, a puddle of some, it, well, it's half pistachios, <laughs> then half almond butter, and then half Nutella. But like, it's real, it'll be fun. Yeah. And, Who, then, and then after you're done, there's no shower. No. No one would say yes to that. That's what I'm saying. It's like, that, uh, like mm -hmm. what, how do movies just portray that? They're just like, yeah, fucking <laughs> the pudding pit. It's so weird though, because I think it like happened one time in college, and then it was like portrayed on like one movie, and then everyone's like, oh, I guess this is college. Yeah. Isn't it weird that like, like culture sort of dictates what you 
think college is and then thus like what you make college right so all these like yeah all these movies and shit you're like oh college would be crazy it'd be a bunch of drinking blah 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 but like what if you didn't see those movies would you th- like is that where your brain naturally goes crazy parties is drink a bunch of fucking beer like why would, how would you even know to do that like college you know what i mean yeah. college well, is portrayed- like, like word of mouth to people who went there but like if you right. were just isolated on a farm with your parents who didn't go to college and you never, and you were like homeschooled. And then yeah. you're like, I'm gonna go to college. You'd probably have your fucking tits rocked. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That would be insane. But yeah, I think it is. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, how many people do you think after watching American Pie put their dick in an apple pie? Me? All right. And then a bunch of other people. <laughs> How was it? No, I, I didn't do it. I really, I mean, listen, I wanted to. Uh-huh. If I found a random apple pie that was a little warm, and my mom was not home? God damn. Or if she was home? <laughs> I just thought it's so funny in movies that they always put the pie by the window and somebody would be conveniently walking by and would like steal it. What if you saw somebody's pies fucked and then put it back? That's hilarious. That's the funniest thing. I don't, but I don't, I think they would probably know. I think, nah. if, yeah, I think if you, if you fuck a pie, I think it's disheveled. I don't think it's just. No, nah, you oh. just be like, ah, whipped cream on top. But you got to put your dick in it. You do slow. It just, where in the top? Yeah. You just bu- cover with 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 whipped cream. I'm not this. saying you got to fucking smack the apple pie's ass while you're in there. Yeah, but I mean, if you're fucking a pie, you got to give it to the nasty nasty. Let me yeah. ask you this. Uh, how many times did someone burn their dick off of apple pie? They didn't wait long enough. Too many. You know what I mean? Because you, you take out apple pie, that shit is hot, daddy. Hot. Hot. If there was a pie, you had to... Which one? Pumpkin. Really? That's all the same consistency. I feel like it'd be like poop. Yeah, you ever fucking... That's very <laughs> gross. No, um, ew. No, I terrible. Uh, but, but I'm I'm saying like it's like there's no like apple pie would be hot because it got like the, the crust on the outside, but the inside, the inside's rewarding. The inside is definitely rewarding because and then like that little apple chunks, you get a little texture. Oh God, damn. Fuck. <laughs> is that maybe the best pie? Yeah, to 100%, fuck? 100%. What's in hold on. Maybe like a rhubarb? I don't know what that is. I don't know either. Pecan pie? God, you could have to have a fucking iron cock to get through that. P- oh yeah. Is it pecan a- or pecan? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> Ga- I'm not fucking it. Gabriel, can you look up what a rhubarb pie is, or do you even know what it is? I don't know what it is. I'll look it up. Okay. I just, I just, my grandma used to talk about a rhubarb pie. It's the oldest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> rhubarb? Is it barb? Rhubarb. Do you know anybody named Barb? Yeah, I know barbers called barbs. No. No. <laughs> no, with their, with their license love, name Barb. I love, I love what you just said. No. No. <laughs> so if rhubarb pie is a pie with rhubarb. Uh, Man, what is rhubarb? Okay. Okay, can I say this one thing before you continue, Gabriel? When I look up a fucking definition, I'm like, what's the definition of cataclysmic? And they go, oh, well, the action of cataclysmia. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, or they add the Fuck you. L-Y at the end. It'll be like, what is to read? It is the act of reading. That doesn't help me. Uh, rhubarb is a vegetable. Oh. Is it? Mm-hmm. Bitch, that's a casserole. A rhubarb is a ve- Hold on, so you can make like a fucking celery pie? Yeah, it's like a root vegetable, it looks like, and you add a bunch of sugar to the pie. Whoever invented that is a fucking virgin. I hate that person. I guess, but like people make pies out of yams and sweet potatoes, so that's somewhere in there. Yeah, but those are sweet. This is this is essentially you just have a rhubarb. But who's a fucking psychopath that's like, oh, y'all making a pie? I brought rhubarb, and they're like, read the fucking room. And then he's like, just try it. Same guy that made carrot cake. We've That's talked what about that. Say. I don't care. We'll talk about it again. Fucking carrot. carrot cake. Who in the lesbian fuck was just like, oh, let's, let's just put some carrots in the cake? <laughs> I love. Le- uh, hold on. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too, dude. I love carrot cake, is what I was saying. <laughs> But a couple lesbian porns here and there. Goddamn, dude, them lesbian porn. Fuck, whoever is listening as a lesbian, I fucking love you. Lesbian porn is the best. You know why? No dicks. Straight. Well, it's also straight into the action. There's no buildup. There's no knocking on the door. Like, did somebody order a fucking Airbnb rental? <laughs> no, they walk in. They're like, <laughs> they just nod heads and they're like, all right. They just, it's just straight into it. I love it. Two vaginas, four boobs, two. God damn! Good for you. No Four dude feet. in there. Four feet. Fuck. Yeah, that's great. Uh, I mean, this. I remember. Uh, I think like when you first enter that porn realm uh, yep. as, as a youngin, and you discover lesbian porn, you're like, "Is this the unlocked level?" I thought I was. Hold up, my computer's glitching. There's two of them. God damn! Hold on, am I drunk? I'm double vision. <laughs> Fuck. 
Oh, dude, recent some fucking mm-hmm. speaking of feet, man. Some I just I don't know. Someone DM me. I didn't even check who it was, honestly. But they DM <laughs> they DM me a, a picture. Cause apparently last episode, I don't know what episode. I said I I'd love to see a picture of a of a foot holding a lollipop. I don't know. This sounds like something I would say, but I don't I don't remember. Uh, you're some, one million percent something. There we go. And someone sent it to me. And let me tell you something. Right now, what? It was a fucking blow pop. What flavor? It was blue. I'd be pissed off as a tootsie pop. Me too. How many licks to shut the fuck up? <laughs> what was it used to look at the wrapper of a Tootsie Pop and then like you win something if they got a bone arrow with a star on it? Yeah, but it wasn't true. What? It was a pyramid scheme? Yeah, no, it's just that's an <laughs> urban legend that like kids would hear. I don't know where we all got that information, but I remember going to a grocery store with my mom one time and I had one and I gave it to the clerk and I was like, can I get my free Tootsie Pop? And like, tootsie not Pops, thing. I don't... They they do nothing for me. They're not bad. Tootsie rolls on the on just regular ones. I mean, who am I, Phyllis? I don't want to eat that. Yeah. But a Tootsie Pop, they're not bad. But it is a lot of work to get to something that's very average. It's a. I mean, I'd rather have rhubarb and pie to be honest. <laughs> rhubarb. Here, you want to hear <laughs> RuPaul's barber? <clears throat> so it says this website. Uh, this is a Huff Post says rhubarb is technically a vegetable, but it is legally considered a fruit. I hate Huffington Post. What, what does the that even hell mean? does that even mean? All I know is a banana's a berry. Fuck you. Is it? I already said this on this podcast and I'll say it again. I don't give a shit. Hold on. Yep. A banana what? is a berry. How? Do you know what also How? is not a berry? I'll tell you. Strawberry. Fuck you. How? Fuck this How? entire world. How? I How? don't know. I don't know. Strawberry. Yep. The berry. founders of this great nation fucked up. How is a strawberry not a fruit? I don't know. We Or a berry. I, I don't know. What, how is a banana a berry? Who fucking knows? I don't even know what constitutes berry. All I know is that a fucking banana is a berry. How? No, it's not. How? Who you knows? You gotta peel it. You don't peel any other berries. You know what also isn't a berry? Oh, no. Oh, no. If you say blueberry, I'll break this entire set. Uh, raspberry. Fuck that. Uh, why wouldn't they be? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the yeah, what? right now. I, I, then don't, I don't understand. What is the beef on the <laughs> bananas? Why is a banana a berry? It's a fruit. It's a fruit. But how can you name something that and then it's not that? It's like being like key lime pie, but it's not a pie. Then don't name it key lime pie. What, I'm trying to see your confusion on, on how a, a, a banana is not a berry. Oh, oh, you're for this. Wait. No, he's saying that a banana is a berry. Is a berry. How? I do not know, sir. I, I looked wish it I up, did. but it's, it's very sciencey. It has to do with the way that botanists describe what kind botanist? of I've never dumb bitch. What is a goddamn imagine going to school to be a botanist and a girl not wanting to just fucking <laughs> divorce immediately? Uh, botanatomy. God, let me tell you something. If my fucking kid came to me and said, I want to be a botanist, that's it for you, madam. <laughs> it's over. You're not my kid anymore. A botanist. What do you mean? You, you know what's playing? funny is they probably make racks just staring at leaves all day. Racks. They're like, oh, photosynthesis. Shut up. You're not my kid anymore. Get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> on I-95. Botanist. A um, botanist. What? Ooh, an avocado's a berry. <clears throat> I don't like right. that. Okay. I don't like that at all. I don't, I hate this. How, wait. So it has to do, it says, a uh, botanist define a fruit as the portion of a flowering plant that develops from the ovary. It contains ovaries. the ovaries. Plants have ovaries, man. What? Hold up. I'm trying to beat. What's going on? <laughs> I can. <sighs> hold on. Hold on. Ovaries. So maybe if you come in a fruit, you get a goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Can it? Hold on. Hold on. Can a human make a fruit? Get ovaries? Can you? If you. Fucking, if I hope you, that Twitter page of Justice <laughs> Highlights is just. Can Can a human make a fruit? <laughs> I mean, maybe that's what botan botan what is it botanist botanist, yeah, botanist. what is the class number one? There's just a condom next to a jackfruit, and you're like, what? Ah, fuck. <laughs> jackfruit got that grip though. You could. You got the inside. Uh. God, a jackfruit. That seems so dangerous. No. Yes. <laughs> no, you cut the back end. So you, so you cut the back end. So the inside is like fruit, but the outside got like grip. So oh, I hear what you're saying. Now I'm on board. I'm yeah, back on board. That's that's a non-slip grip for the dick. If you're a botanist, so how much you like plants? For Too sure much. they fuck the plant. Same people that are bird watchers. You're telling me their dick doesn't twinkle a little bit when they see a rare sparrow fly through? Yeah. Why do you think they're watching the goddamn birds? Bird watching is insane insane if you like if you like to watch birds school shooter what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean you just like the some- school shooter who got denied a, a gun and they're like well what else am i supposed to do with these binoculars 
<laughs> I already have a search warrant for every place, every and a restraining order from every hot girl's house. What am I? Is that a and a <laughs> mask tell sparrow? And I'm already wearing camo. <laughs> the thing is, what do you do? Because do you take a picture of the bird or you just stare at it and you go, that's a fucking good bird. And then you go about your day? No, you go in a bathroom and you jerk off. <laughs> If they're, they're they're trying to find a bird, like it's you're like watching birds. But it's like an excitement. Well, it's like they're looking for rarities. It's also like the people that collect uh, quarters from each state. That's kind of hard. I like that. Really? Yeah, because you collect them all, you can put them in like a frame and put it on the wall. Then that then makes what? sense. Then what? You stare at it. Then what? It come. <laughs> <laughs> I know I do know a bird watcher and they they don't even take pictures of the bird they they, they see the bird and right. they write it in a journal that they saw that bird and then they take the journal and they go home and they set it next to their flashlight uh -huh. and they put on a goddamn crow soundtrack and then just hear ha 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 and they just pipe the fuck out of the flashlight <laughs> with bird it. seed in it that's exactly what it is but it's not a full flashlight it's a small little flashlight bird size disgusting why do you watch birds Someone write in why you watch birds. But that theory that you have, like trying to find like a rare one, that makes sense to me. If it's like a fun little puzzle where you're like, oh, I know that sometimes a red tipped hawk like flies around here. Let me see if I can find it. That makes sense sure, to me. Sure, it's a hobby and you get after You ever hang out with people that are like oddly too specific with airplanes? I fucking hate those people. No. You're just like walking down the street and the guy looks at me and goes, I think that's like a 742 7, uh, you know, dual engine jet. What does that have to do with anything right now? I don't know. I don't like anyone who knows too much about one thing. <laughs> You've never met somebody like that? They're no. Just I, like, they just, like maybe San Jose State, where I went to college, it was big on aviation. It was a big flight school. And like a couple of guys in my frat were like in that program. And then just be walking on campus and they just hear it and look up and like, oh, wow. Yeah. And then just spew some random fact. I'm like, what does that have to do with us walking to biology? Dude, if I get on a plane, and I look at the pilot and I go, where'd you go to school? And he says, San Jose State. I'm getting off. Really? I'm getting off. I need you to say Stanford or Princeton. Yeah. You go to San Jose State and you're about to fly this American Airlines flight to What to are you trying to Dallas? say about San Jose State? Trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't, if your pilot went to San Jose State. But you know what's a funny observation here? Okay. Uh, is the older the pilot, the more comfortable you feel. Of course. Right? Yes. But if you get in an Uber... Yep. And your Uber driver is like 75. Get out. <laughs> You're like, oh, I don't trust you to back out of this one way street. Mm -hmm. And all you got to do is go forward. Yeah. So what is that? Um, well, I don't really trust a pilot who's 75. I feel more trusted with that. I need, a, I need, I need, I need like salt and pepper hair. I don't want, I don't, gray. yeah, yeah. I don't want to, I don't want you to look like Biden. You know, what's also weird is you just see pilots in the airport. Like, <clears throat> the, like they're just there amongst us why are we saluting them oh we should be doing more than saluting them <laughs> do you know well, like they're just walking through the airport with their bag they look just as stressed and pissed off as everybody else mm -hmm. it looks like they're in stolen valor to be honest they don't look like a pilot yep. obviously they're they travel a lot and they're tired but like i feel like next time i see a pilot in the airport i'm gonna be like yeah i'm gonna fucking, give i'm gonna give him a quick hj if he's looking can i a buy stressed. you a girl scout cookie yeah, just one. But it's like also like you think that you'd want yeah, <laughs> you'd want to hype them up. They're about to fly you. Yeah, I think. How is there not more like or you'd think that they would not be, they would have their own airport, like their own lounge, right? Like I teachers got their own little little. You never see teachers on campus unless they're in their classroom, but they hang out in the lounge. You think there may maybe there is a, a, a I think there is a pilot lounge. I think there's a pilot lounge. Yeah. But like I, when you just see a pilot walking through the airport, I feel like weird. I'm like. Why are we on the same level here? Like you yeah. should be above me, right? I also I, I shouldn't be able to make eye contact with you, right? I don't throw want, a fucking salted peanut at my eye. I don't want to see you. I need I need you I need right. you to fly the plane, and that's all I need from you. Also, like I don't want you to feel as though you can like I don't want you to get well, injured. It's the same reason I don't like watching people. I don't I don't want to know who makes my food at a restaurant. Nope. No, no. I just want to know that you can fly me to a place. I don't want to know what you look like. I don't want to have any prejudgments. I just want you to fly me to a place. And I love when they sit out. They sit outside the fucking cockpit as you're leaving the plane. Yeah. That's the best. Was I ever say about this? Was a long ass time ago. It was, it was probably one of my like, first road gigs I did as a stand up. Yeah. Um, I was hosting the show, but I got my own hotel and I was just fucking pumped. It was like Hell four yeah. hours away. And then I was talking to people after. And I was like, where you know, where's the good local food to get? We're like, you know, get. And everybody's like, oh, you got to check out this Mexican spot. They got like the best case. Ideas, blah blah blah. I don't know. I'm all pumped to get there, and right as I get there, uh, I see the chef, and the the chef looks like he's fresh off a motocross race. 
just like the most generic white dude ever. Yeah. And the cashier working goes, uh, Travis, yeah, you, yeah, you can take your five after this. A dude named Travis was making the best tacos in town. And I was like, I don't, Mm-mm. had I just not known. Fine. I, I would have, I wouldn't have thought, but now like I'm taking bites and I'm like, yeah, this, this ain't authentic. It's yeah. trash. Yeah. It's like a grilled cheese with fucking tapatio in it. <laughs> At best. I love a good grilled cheese. Do I? Yes. What are you going to tell me? You don't like it on rye bread? <sighs> you know what I got down with when you're in Wisconsin? Those fucking BLTs, but no teas. The tomatoes fact that dumb. you don't like tomatoes. Tomatoes are so dumb. It seriously makes me so upset. What are they? Fruit, vegetable. It's a fruit, but that makes me upset. It's not a fucking fruit. BLT, something about it. It's just, I like when sandwiches got crisp in it. But that's the, the ba- bacon and the lettuce. They give you the snap crackle. Here's, here's the problem about bacon. Is you're rolling Whoa. the dice. No, 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 no. Bacon, bacon, I love okay. daddy cakes. It's, it's, it's the best. But I'm saying you're rolling the dice with a sandwich. Because sometimes it's undercooked, sometimes it's overcooked. You get an overcooked piece of bacon on a BLT, trash buckets. Undercooked, trash Chewy, buckets. Yeah. It's got to be right down the middle, which is honestly hard. But you can but you can get it. And the BLTs that we had at that one place, fire. Yeah. Do we probably... So we we did our first weekend back of shows in Wisconsin. And uh, I mean, the town is a little... They don't really... They, like People were wearing masks, but it was a very like asterisk next to it they're like Man. yeah like you'd wear a mask inside and shit and um yeah obviously it didn't do any meet and greets so sorry if you're at the shows and wanted to meet michael and i you know it's just for safety but um we ate at a coffee shop it was the only thing next to us probably legit eight times to the point yeah. where they called michael oh it's the hat guy they said the hat guy they didn't ask for my name they just said the hat guy which i mean bitch just i said michael 400 times yeah just it's a very easy name uh, but that was that place was so good. You know what else was so funny about Wisconsin? Oh God! <laughs> Should I tell? I think you have. I mean, I recommended this story be a Patreon, and then you're like, "Oh, I have an even crazier story for Patreon." So yeah, this, again, the Patreon guys, story is bananas. <laughs> guys, five dollars, um, you get you four extra episodes a month uh, at the lowest tier, and then you can get it at ten or twenty five with multiple benefits. But we do talk wild on there, and yeah. by we, I mean my. <laughs> I had like a few wild episodes in the beginning. No, you do. And then I'll be like, well, it's a lot of like back in the day shit. For like, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be like, back in college, I done fucked a goddamn pool noodle. You could. 100%. You'd have to put a condom on though. Yeah. Because if you do that, that you're, foam. You're, yeah, you're going to start it. a campfire. If yeah, you fucking, I don't like You that. just made it sound way better for Trevor though. He mean, you mean I get to jerk off with a condom on is what he's thinking. You know? oh, I'm trying I to hate beat. That. I, I, still... I did it again the other day. Just double down. You did it again? I'm out here. You fucking moron. Uh, why not? What am I, the why fuck, not? The fuck am I saving condoms for? Why not? What, what am I going to fucking put pennies in there and take them to a coin star? Oh, God. Coin star. How does that exist? <laughs> <laughs> coin star is hilarious. Like, you just... It's, uh, you do all this work, you carry in nine pounds of pennies, and you're like, I got four dollars. Yeah, if I was a homeless person, I'd just sit by the coin star. <laughs> because, because you can't say you don't have any. Yeah, you just what what you doing there? Oh, uh, these are Chuck E. Cheese tokens. <laughs> um, homeless people should have a coin. Uh, uh, what are they called? Squ- the square readers. They do some. They have square readers. Some do. I love that. I love the hustle. Adapt, you know. If you have it, to. I mean, but the thing is, if you trap somebody, they're like, "Ah, oh, sorry, I don't have any change. Oh, I got a square reader." Then they're like, "Ah, oh, well, I don't." Because then, you, then you look like a dick if you still try to find a way out. Right. They got Venmo. I've seen a homeless person with a sign that says Venmo. Who I saw a homeless guy who had his uh, his Instagram on his uh, sign in Los Angeles, going up uh, Laurel Canyon. Really? I wonder how many followers we had. I forgot to check, but I was thinking about it. Like, how funny would that be? Like, if you followed him and he just didn't follow you back. You're like, Pissed. a homeless guy doesn't fall. You'd be like, all right, well, either his phone uh, died, he doesn't have Wi-Fi, or he just hates my videos. <laughs> hey, man, sorry to hear about you going. I uh, ho- hope I can help with anything. Uh, appreciate a follow back. Just seen. Just nothing. seen. Oh, God, that's the worst. But the funny thing about Los Angeles, he's probably got like at least like 34K. I think so. He's like, duh, homeless one. Just, <laughs> just killing Plant it. Plant-based. Um, Only berries, just fucking bananas. I hate that. Um, uh, what was that name? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. So oh. this should be a Patreon story, but I mean, apparently the next episode you got something wild. So I'll, I'll let you get into it. All right. I know some details, but they don't know anything. 
They don't know nothing. Um, all right, so we were uh, we did some shows, and after the first show, I got some DMs from this uh, lovely woman. She was very, very nice. She sent me some, uh, you know, some some nice pictures from her collection, and they were they were nudes, guys. She sent me nudes, and they were very nice. And literally, she just sent me this one picture of just feet, and she was like, "I heard you like these because I have a whole joke about feet." And they were really nice. And so we started. We tried to do that night, but it didn't really work out. And then we were DMing back and forth that next morning. And she's like, yeah, I'm down to come over to the hotel, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, yeah, I just need to ask my boyfriend if it's cool. Huh? In for you, this this perks you up a little bit. You're, in, you're into that cuck shit. I'm, I, I was like, bro, this is a setup. It seemed very setup-y, but I'm like, I was... I was maybe 40 to 50 percent more in after that well because then i had to ask questions because it's like is your man gonna be there which i might be still down i have to do that one time god damn gentlemen it's 2020 yes it is no female or male wants above your pee pee to be this big ass bush this just this freaking disgusting just bleh bleh thing so you know what you need you need manscape Lawn mower 3.0, you trim it down like a rich person's hedge. You need the goddamn blade for the Everglades, baby. You need to shape in that goddamn iceberg, baby. Dude, honestly, yeah, I, I love this thing. I take it in the shower. It's got a light on it. <laughs> I use it to take my dog out at night, watch where it poops. I'm like, God, come here. Dude, I forgot my keys one time. I'm like, God, they want my keys. Use that fucking, use that. It has an LED light on the fucking on the on the, sh the trimmer oh dude I, I love it man i uh i honestly i didn't realize how much i wasn't trimming up until i got one of those yeah because that'll be like oh it's monday let's just let's just give myself a little fade oh barber shops and salons are closed not down there they ain't i'm on barber god damn i just ugh, and and like dude and everything's fucking even and my butthole you can whistle down there god damn <laughs> I'm telling you. But I'm honestly, that's you. what I'm saying. Is like, I would never think about getting super clean down there. I mean, all right, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's good enough. Well, because it seems like a hassle. But yeah. with this lawnmower 3.0, it's not a hassle. It's literally but now it's an activity. It's on the calendar. Oh, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> oh. trim your butthole Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> For real. My shit, look, my shit stays looking crisp. Uh, so what you guys need to do, you guys are going to go on manscaped.com. Uh, put on promo code stiff that's promo code stiff you get 20 percent off and free shipping boom what more do we need to say they got a bunch of other cool products on there that you can get whether it's boxers or ball toner ball deodorant uh and anything if you want to like you know trim up your, your fingernails and your toenails if you just want to be something fuckable just go to manscape.com also if you know they bush you. your pee, pee look bigger so goddamn <laughs> Go on manscaped.com. I'm like 14 inches. That's what centimeters. Huh? Who knows? Uh, anyways, Fuck. go on manscaped.com. Uh, put in promo code STIFF and you get 20% off and free shipping. Do it. Love you guys. God damn. Oh, but, then it's, but then it's back to the whole watching porn. It's like a separate. Do you think it'd be weird? Like you're trying to. Now you're trying to put an extra work to impress that guy to be like, yeah, look at me. Yeah, look, this is what you should be doing. Oh. Yeah. I want to do a master class. Master ass. Master cut class. God damn. Oh, shit. So I saw so I was investigating to see if her man was gonna be there and see if like he would care. And she goes, No, he's not gonna be there. I go, all right, well, is he like gonna care? And she was like, she was like, Well, he's actually my boss, and so she he's gonna give me the day off so I can come over to your hotel. And I was like, That's the best boyfriend that I've ever done Where met. Where does she work? She said, "What did she say? Some outside shit." Outside. Yeah, I forget. Oh, like a like a uh, landscape and design person. Huh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I just put down mulch or something. I don't know because she kept. She kept. Uh, she because she. Uh, we they changed numbers, so she was texting me at this point, and she was texting me. And she goes, "Hey, I'm like uh, I'm like a little sweaty from work. Do you care?" Oh. And I was like, "What do you do?" <laughs> <laughs> and that's when she told me she worked outside vitamin D. Uh, she's pretty tan. Anyways, so uh, so I was like, fuck so it. So did yeah. you care? Did I care what? That she was a little sweaty. I told her that if time permitted, she could take a shower if she didn't feel comfortable. But she was That's a fancy way to be like, no. Well, she was bad enough for me to be like, I don't care. And I was on a time constraint because we had to get to the shows. 
Oh yeah, because this wasn't even the this was the following day after this that night. Following day, you. following yeah. day. Yeah, she's leaving work. Yeah, out here like a salt rock stone lamp. You ever seen those things? No. You've never seen a salt rock lamp? Salt rock lamp. Gabe, you yeah. seen one of those? Yeah. Salt Why rock? do y'all know everything and I know nothing? Gabe and I are the same person. You've never seen a salt. Yeah, it's lamp? like Himalayan rock salt lamp. For what? I, have no idea. I think it's like a crystal. Does it taste like salt? I think it's yes. like a crystals thing. You know, like it gives Fuck. good energy or whatever. Love. I don't know if you look at it, it tastes like salt for real. You ever seen one of these things? No. They permit. Oh, yeah. They permit zero light, but that's, they're just there. But that's a good sex light. Uh yeah. That's a good sex light. It though. is, you know. Yeah. Maybe you just nut on it and blends in. Oh shit! It kind of looks like a dinosaur egg with nut on it. That's true. <laughs> Okay, right. so anyways, you got a, a human Himalayan salt rock coming over, right? So she's trying come, to get that salt cock. Hold so up. So she's coming over, uh, and she comes over, I mean, at 5 p.m. Never met me, don't know nothing about me. Comes over to the motherfucking hotel room. Literally, she walks in. We start making out immediately. And let me tell you something. You're asking, thinking maybe, does she smell slash taste like the outside? And the answer, yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, but beggars it, can't be choosers. That's what I'm saying. But it was so hot because it was like Uber Eats. She just came over like I order Uber Eats. It was amazing. <laughs> 5 p.m. Uber Eats? Yeah. Yeah, anything at 5 p.m. You can't be like no. asking for a freshly showered asshole. No, and oh, I forgot to tell you this. And I asked her for a favor because I didn't have a car. I was like, hey, since you're coming over here, can you bring me five hour energies? And she brought me three. Oh, I forgot to vent more. <laughs> I told Do it her. now. Maybe you'll get another foot pick. Oh, god damn. Um, Shit. So, dude, long story short, it was fucking... How in- short? No, nah, it was pretty long. Really? Yeah, this, it was a session. Well, it, it was, was great. so funny because it's like 5 p.m. And uh, I, I think I texted you. Oh, yeah. Because I needed to borrow something from your room. And, I, and then I knocked. And then I was like, this motherfucker probably showering or drinking off, right? And I text you. And, and you're like, hold on, I'm fucking. And I, and, and I thought he wasn't done finishing the sentence. Like, oh, I'm fucking on the phone with my dad. Or I'm fucking dealing with this real estate shit, right? That was it. <laughs> hold on, I'm fucking. 5 p.m., the sun's out. The sun was out. Dude, Meanwhile, I- we're staying on a fucking river hotel, and there's just families walking by. Yeah. One store, one room over, there's just fucking salt chips everywhere. Yeah. Goddamn lemon pepper salt in the eyes. Goddamn salt it's- and vinegar all over my feet. Um, so real talk, it was phenomenal. It was motherfucking phenomenal. And no boyfriend showed up, right? Uh, no, thank the Lord. I, I don't know. I'd, I'd be fine with it. But yeah, it was it was fine. We we did we did it. She smelled a little salt rocky. It was totally fine. Um, yeah, she'd like to fuck the way I like to fuck. It was great. And the best part ever is like when we were finished, there was no, you know, sometimes you have those like moments, whatever, and then you finish and then she's like, so like, what do your parents do? And like, but like, you try to have like a com. Nope, no conversation. She knew right after she just pulled the pants up and pulled the pants up, and she's like, "How long are you staying here?" I said, "I said till Sunday." She's like, "Let's do this again before we leave." That was hot. I said, "Yes, let's definitely do it." And she bounced. It was in. It was like it literally was Uber Eats. I swear Start to, to God. finish. How, how, what was the shot clock looking like? Um, I say maybe twenty minutes. From opening the door to leaving. But that's how hot it was, dude. Literally opened the door and we just immediately started like, there was no like, so oh, sit yeah. down, you want to drink? But it was like, nah, it was like, she, the way that she was DMing me, she like, she made sure that it was just that. She literally DMed me. She goes, hey, you're like inviting me over to fuck, right? And I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. She goes, okay, cool. Dude, I'd be so nervous in that situation. Why? It's just like so upfront that I'm not used to that. That it's just right. so like, yo, I'm coming to fuck. I'd be like, she wearing a wire. You're right. Like, it's very, you're right. Like, it's very rare that when a woman is that forward, that you, you're not like, is this a red flag? I should, like, is this? Is this of of she course. Got a boyfriend? Of she course. Got- I think, though, if it wasn't so, if she wasn't so upfront, like, about her boyfriend, about her relationship. She was with, very open with you. She was very open from the jump. So it didn't feel yeah. weird. She was very much like, this is, because she told me, she's like, she literally goes, she goes, the same way you like feet is the same way my boyfriend likes when I do this because it's like an aphrodisiac for him. So he he like he's cool with me going to fuck people and then I come back and we talk about it and then we fuck. Cause he like it you know, he's on that cuck shit. So he likes it turns him on for someone else to fuck his girl. So it like it's sort of like in a weird, convoluted way helps their relationship. So I'm a relationship counselor, is what I'm saying. Shit. Could you ever do that? 
I have a relationship little, counselor? No, 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 no. I mean, I'm sure you or can do that. Cuck. That, that situation that I just gave out. Like, I'm the dude, she's walking off to go get. Yeah. Nah. I'm too jealous. But what if you had the openness? You're like, so that was a relationship. But, but that's the thing with the, the double standard thing. It's like, I think every guy in the world to some extent would be like, well, you know, like, just like one time just to try it. But like, I don't know. I don't think you, it's hard to build. You would, I don't know. I think it's kind of structured in your DNA. For me, I'm too much of a jealous type. And, yeah. I, and, and it wouldn't be fair to just have me be out here. And then she looks at another guy in an elevator. And I'm like, who the fuck was that? Why do you press forward? Why do you press four? Yeah. <laughs> You um, on floor three? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I think I think I could really do it if the relationship was built on a really strong foundation prior to introducing that. Like if we were together for like two, three years, and it was like really on a strong foundation of like love, and like this is going to be for the long term, and then we introduced it. I think I, I don't know, but I think I could do it, and I think it'd be kind of hot. I just could never meet. The I'd dude be more like, so into <laughs> like. Uh... Like you're still with your person, but like doing like another yeah another party. Entrance. That would be cool. Or that like that cool. that European shit. We just go to a nightclub and just start fucking everywhere. Oh god damn, that's a nice shit. You know what's crazy though is he was at the show too originally, so he knew he doesn't he didn't know me, but like he like knew who she was going to. Y- yeah, that's but I, the shit that I couldn't get down with. It's like I know like I don't I if you're just like yeah he works at Troy Joe's and I'm gonna go like fine okay I just, I don't know him I don't know what he looks like but to know him for her to be like yeah remember that guy that we went to Foot Locker and we got some uh, flip flops remember that guy that gave us the size sevens and like, yeah like oh that's the guy I'm gonna fuck then I know what he looks like is too much I see what you're saying it's that whole chef you don't want to know who the chef is dude full circle yes exactly full circle I don't want to know who's preparing up that. Cooch Casserole. No. Episode title. Rhubarb pie. Definitely have the episode title. 100%. Gabriel, where are we at? I'd yes. beat a rhubarb pie. Um, all right. We got a question here from I dress to underscore finesse. I dress the finesse. Oh. I dress the finesse? Okay. Yep. Damn. Motherfucker uh, shot by Ross. Wants to know, Shit. why do girls have to take so damn long on deciding what to eat? How should I handle this? Wow. Well, I <clears throat> wish I had the answer. I think that, and this is, again, everyone that's going to yell at me, I think this is, this is literally just my opinion. I think if you help the indecisiveness, it's not what do you want to eat, blanket, blanket statement, figure it out. It's, yo, so I'm thinking either we do uh, Chinese or pizza. What do you think? Then there's two options. So they're under the impression that they have a choice, yeah. but you give them two options. So then it's not like, hey, then you don't give them the cheesecake factory menu with a million fucking things. It's like, yeah. we got two things. What do you want to do? And then it's like, oh, what that is actually to- a thing. If, if you throw out two, like, especially if you've eaten with that girl before, you can like with my girl, I can always be like, oh, she loves sushi. She loves Thai food. So I'm like, you want to do like sushi or Thai? And That's then it. like right out the window, it's like, I don't know about those. Two. Okay, cool. What else do you want to do? Italian yep. or Mexican? You yep. go two, go, go by twos. I twos. think it's literally a solution. Literally two by twos. And I sort of, you get to a place where there's, where there's, too much of, I don't really know. And then you can say, listen, I don't really care, but you got to make a choice. So it's either we do this one or this one, or you throw out an option. Then you give them the, then you give like sort of throw the ball in their court, be like, okay, then you give me an option. And they go, um, well, I want, and then whatever they say, you go, sounds good. And then you're off. But do you think it's any part where it's like girls, I mean, this is, I don't know if this no, is get deep, baby. Th- too deep, but like, do you think girls find it attractive when, cause like, the, I think the best thing is like, if you have a plan for girls, like I think girls romanticize about that, but like, I'm gonna pick you up at eight and we're getting crab cakes and fucking Venice. Be- like, if you just be like, this is what we're doing. Da, 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 da. It's Love like it. that. There's no, assert- it, it, there's no like indecisive. It's all assertiveness. You're like, this is yep. what we're doing. Ba-da, I love it. But the problem is, is like when she's like, well, I'm allergic to selfish. And then you can't go to crab cakes. That's, uh, that's, that's the only issue there. But yes, I agree with you. Right. I agree with you. If you go, if you go, yes, yeah, so I'm thinking we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll just go to venice and there's this really dope uh so, like sub place on the corner they like it's kind of low-key but the yeah. subs are so fucking good and we can go like a walk for the beach sound good yeah and then and then you go there and she just orders a bowl of lemons and you're like what about dinner she's the guy can eat anything here yeah she's like lemons i love lemons yeah you're like cool for sure yeah we're broken up <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think break it down into twos offer two right up front boom, boom, two, boom. boom boom yeah that's the answer 
to find dress fashion nista what's his name to find fashion nista uh, dress fashion nova finesse. dress of finesse way better than what i just said are you riding um all right let's do a secret sock okay secret this is an anonymous listener says uh here's a funny confession I had a Tinder date. It was actually my first Tinder date. I think I got catfished a little bit or I didn't Hold do that. my research. Anyway, so uh, fast forward 30 minutes into Netflix on the couch. Uh, I'm making out with some minutes. chick. God. I'm just not really, I'm not really into her. Uh, so I go to the bathroom. I fake bust a nut, Hold uh, put my huh? clothes on and I, and I leave out the door. Huh? Hold on. He goes to the bathroom to bust a nut yeah she she for sure knew you were on some sus shit wait uh, what let's walk through that i'm watching it right we're watching we're making yeah. out blah, yeah blah, blah 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 yeah oh I, I think i gotta go to the bathroom i'm about to nut no you're not you're not going anywhere that's the way no it's not that's the do you think he mistyped that do you think it's like he fake bust a nut with her and then went to the bathroom? Oh, you know what? I'm so sorry. I misread this. He goes to the bedroom. He fake bust the nut. With her. Uh, with her. There we go. I, that I, was I like, thought it was so much was... funnier if you just went to the bathroom. Yeah, and was that's like, what I was like, the bathroom. I'm coming. And she's like, uh, coming you drink, where? You jerking off in there? Or what are you yeah. watching? Um, fake busted a nut. And then he left. Yeah. I mean... Dude, I've literally talked to girls so many times that are like, yeah, I just like suddenly like after he went down on me, I was not interested anymore and uh, I got mine and then, you know, I just like left or like also the vice versa of like, they're just like, you just, you just fake the orgasm too. Yeah, definitely. I've, I've faked it a couple times, nothing crazy, but it was, it was moments where I like, where I know that I'm not going to come. It's like when you're like too drunk and you're like, I'm not going to come and you just like fake it. So this can be right. over as opposed to like, yeah, the, the, as opposed to having a whole conversation. I didn't come. Why am I not pretty? No, it's, it's, like, yeah. it's like, no, I just, I came. It's the best. Um, but I, I, I don't know, man, I, I will say that situation that he just played, like he just played out. I don't think anything's like super wrong with it, but also I don't know how old this person is, but also it's like, it's always just better to just have that conversation. Just have that like upfront conversation. But like, what would he say? Just, I mean, if they're like making out or whatever, and it, it was just like they, he could just kind of pull away, and then either finish watching the movie and then leave, or if he really wants to be assertive and just kind of have that conversation, then to be like, to be like, oh, it's, I was like, I, honestly, I want to be real with you. I'm not. I don't. I don't think I'm super into this, and I don't really want to waste your time. And I think you're beautiful, and I think you, you can have Damn, a lot I, of. Other I, I guess we're but, two different people because I feel like that would fuck up somebody's like mental more than just being like oh i nutted and then you put your clothes on and then you just slowly taper off the texting over the next couple of days yeah i mean i guess for for sure i guess that's the sort of nicer option but then you're just lying i mean that's so many i mean every 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 ghosting is essentially just a giant like lie where you're just like i'd rather just cut it off easy instead of just being like Hey, realistically, but like the adult answer is like, right. realistically, I, I'm not really that into it. I don't know what it is. I'm so, but like, that just sounds crazy. I mean, it, it's, you know, people do that, but like for me, I feel like I would be so like, like to like look into somebody's eyes and be like, I'm not really into this. Right. That'd be kind of fucked in, yeah. in my opinion, but however you deal with it. Cause I for sure would like do the fake nut and I'd be like, yeah, this was, this was fun. Let's we should do it again. And then you just slowly. It's, it's also funny though. Taper off. What? But why do you have to fake a nut? Yeah, like I don't think he just could nut. But no, no, no. Why would he have to fake a nut? So you like went. He was like making out. And he wasn't into it up initially. And then is he, he not beaten? Is he not cheek deep? Yeah, I mean, it kind of. Kind oh, of kind of sounds like, like he was. He was. I've got an embarrassing one for this. Oh, oh yeah. I was gonna say you. Usually you could. You'd be like, all right, let me just focus here. Yeah, but I just uh, think of Lisa Ann's greatest hits, and then you just not into her. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to say it. Trash. Uh, Anyways. But I got I huh? got kind of I got kind of catfish one time. Hold up. Kinda. Okay. Huh? Uh, How much? Yeah, I mean, by quite a bit. How pissed are catfish that that's the fucking thing we say? Oh, catfish are so ugly, though. Oh, is, seen, that, is that the thing? You ever seen a catfish out of water? You ever seen a catfish suck a man's dick? I have. It's awful. Suck a man's dick? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. What are you? Oh, what are you <laughs> you're like, yeah, fucking uh, joining the fraternity was crazy. Wait. No, I said it's. I it does it. It was one with the best one. Try to make it normal. What do you? It's not normal. I mean, my dad showed me, but it's not. Normal. God, what? Where? No, no it's on fucking on porn. Whatever. There's there's one 
that someone showed me a, a a bass one. I've brought this up on the podcast before, but someone like sent me a link. Did to this a, Wisconsin girl show you this? I think so. She. Uh, oh, by the way, I won't tell that part. <laughs> that, I'll, tell, I'll tell that part on Patreon. It's too crazy. Uh, about but remind me about the Wisconsin thing. There's another addendum to that. I just want to. I don't even know what an addendum is, but it, it sounds hot. Addition to the thing. <laughs> Oh got agenda. <laughs> agenda but French. Um all right, so bass Link, is- bass fish and the and I as soon as you did the bass one, it fucking opens up a whole world of that shit and then there was a catfish one. So sorry. Okay, so I got uh yeah, I got catfish one time and I went uh the plan was I was gonna go pick this girl up. We were gonna go back to my place and she was gonna spend the night. And I go Solid and I had plan. to yeah, I had Love to go it. drive Very kind of kind of far to go get her and Uh-oh. she starts walking towards my car. I'm like, this is Did not. You get it from the mountains. This is, this is <laughs> was she stampeding towards your car? <laughs> but she, uh, she looked nothing like her pictures. And so I had a like a moment where I saw her before she's. I mean, I could have just driven away, but that, that felt that would have been that's nuts. That felt, that felt really mean, right? Yes. So, she so would she remember your it. license plate and send Al Qaeda after. And you. especially, she would like chase the car down and she would get to well, yeah. she was also bigfoot so she would just fucking I mean. yeah send a sparrow through her window and throw it like tom brady but uh but so she we go back to my place and i'm just not into it so we put a movie on and i uh i literally i pretend to fall asleep like 10 oh, minutes into the movie and i and she stays the night and then i wake up like at dawn and i'm like oh i totally forgot about a doctor's appointment and i uh <laughs> awkwardly drove her home She's like, for what? You're like, you know, just checkups. Yeah, you're like, I got really bad STDs. All yeah. of them. It's gross. But it's like, on the one hand, it would have been so much easier to just be like, oh, you know what? Like, I, I actually don't really feel a connection. Like, but then you would have to drive her back and it's awkward. Yeah, and then it, it felt like... It I'm not a confrontational game. person, so I couldn't do that. Yeah. But if you say connection, if you if you lean into like, this is how I feel, then there's no argument there because you can't really argue people's feelings. And you just say connection on like a personality level. It has nothing to do with like, you don't lean into the attraction because that could really fuck up someone's psyche. But if you go, if you go I'm going to be honest with you, like, I just feel I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking for a really strong connection and I don't really feel it with you and I don't want to waste your time and I don't really want to waste my time. So if you want to finish watching the movie, I'm totally down for that. But I just want to let you know how I feel. <laughs> Could you imagine a guy just told you, hey, there's zero connection, but also Not James you. Bond. Very good. <laughs> Have you seen Marley and Me? I can put it on right now. I, But I do, I get what that's coming, but like if I was a girl and a guy told me there's no connection, I would be like, that's code for being like, you ugly. Like, sure. I understand that you guys might not vibe together, right. but I think a girl is ultimately going to take what you're saying and relate that to being like, oh, you just don't fuck with me? Oh, yeah, is but, it because I'm ugly? Oh, is it because I'm fat? But, but, don't you, but don't you think if you ghost there, it's the same thing? She's going to be like, oh, I guess I'm not hot enough for you. Whatever. I, uh, I don't know. I, I think, I don't know. I think if you, and if you're being truthful, if you're like, oh, I'm just not attracted to her, then I don't think you should lean into the connection thing because I just don't think that's honest. But if you're like with somebody and you're just like, I don't really like feel it with you. I've left, I've left two different dates pe- before, before the appetizers. Mid date? Before the appetizers? Yeah. How they were, fucking bad did the date go in the first four minutes? They were, they were also, both of them were actually also really annoying, but like. The girls or the yeah, dates? No. Both both of the girls were like very annoying. They were they were very you know, really dude. I've sat through dates where no. I'm like, well, there goes my night. Uh uh-uh. uh. You just leave. Yeah, but in the, in like a in a in a nice way. How, what is a nice way to leave a date though? Literally, sort of that same conversation. But like, what do you break it off to be like? It, like, like at okay. what point do you interject? So so both times it wasn't we weren't really like having an argument, but like we were like it was like simmering like already yeah. within like ten minutes because both of those the women that I'm talking about were very like you're welcome I'm here oh. like type of women right right do you right. know what I mean so we were already I, I'm very sensitive to that I don't I don't I hate when there's like sort of like. I'm up here and you're down there and you're welcome. I'm here and I could be with other people, but now it's like all that type of shit. Sounds like me. (laughs) So all that type of stuff, I can't really get down with. So she was acting in a very, in in that, she was acting through that lens, which was just so annoying to me. And yeah. And then we just, and we disagreed on some stuff and it was just, yeah, just, I was getting angry both times. I was getting angry. And then I I was just like, I don't, I was like, listen, I, I, you're probably feeling this too. But this is just not working for me. Like I'm, uh, we're ten minutes in this date. I'm literally, we're already having an argument. I'd rather not spend my night like this. I'm sorry, but I'm, but I think I'm gonna leave. And it's that's New York. literally like you just put yourself on the show next. Remember that show? Hilarious. Yes. You were just like, well, it's been sixteen <laughs> minutes. So give me the sixteen dollars. Yeah. It, it's it's also a little different because both of those were in New York, and there's just not like a 
he asked oh, people, you guys got hustle you're that? like you guys got hustle you're like all right we got four hours are we getting married or not word 10 minutes in fuck no but it's also like when you leave it's not so much like when you live when you leave a date in la it's kind of crazy because then it's like you got it feels you, you feel so far Uber. away from home yeah you know what i mean but in new york it's like i'm in Did a village you live in the west village you probably walked here I, like it, yeah i mean yeah so it's yeah. very you can just walk away and it's that's not funny because like i've been do. on dates out here in in la before the lady where i was just like 10 minutes in and she's just ranting about all these glitz and glams of like oh i'm on a first name basis with austin post malone oh, and, blah, 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 blah. and i'm just like ah this is my night this is a night gone but whatever that's fine Mm-mm. and i just like was fine with that man got no time to waste uh, but, but for whatever reason i was just like all right i think and I, just, I just immediately didn't see a future after that but to just get up and walk away i would i don't know but this is why i think you'd make a better president because i'm very like and we're done <laughs> that would be crazy well, like, i mean in today's political climate right now <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah no and then um <laughs> yeah yeah, that's so that's so wild. I just literally remember thinking at one point because afterwards we went back to my place and we we both like smoked a little bit and she was just talking about like some oh. like back home friends, but like she was using first name basis on the friends and it's like I don't know who these people and then she's like I just can't believe that like Tyler would do that to 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 Janessa but like but and, and I'm just like I started laughing at one point to myself yeah. I was like. What is going on? I don't know. And also when What's you're happening? High, when you're high too, you don't really have all of your faculties. You you don't have like all your like social skills. No. So then you're just like, you know, you don't even know how to handle but it. But you know when you're driving for like 20 minutes, like, holy fuck, how the fuck was I driving? Yep. I felt like that. I was like, how is this still happening? Yes. I was still talking. Yep. But she was hot, so I was like, <laughs> Well, of course. Beat. Yeah, of, I mean, of course. Dude, you sit talk to a goddamn lot of things. It's just, just fucking big racks. Multiple. Well, because <laughs> like we said earlier in the episode. Giving away two Patreon memberships for the year, as well as some free merch. All you got to do is go on to Apple, give us five stars, rate the show, say something nice, and then leave your Instagram at the bottom so we can hit you up and let you know if you won something. And if you didn't, then hey, we're going to keep doing stuff like this because it's fun. F-U-N. Fun dip. So good. Guys, as I always mother effing say... Uh, go on iTunes, rate, subscribe, and review. And then with this, you you guys might have an uh, option to win merch and a free and two free Patreons. So definitely do that. Um, also, we really appreciate you guys listening and watching. Um, this means a lot to us. So thank you so much. Uh, have a good day or night. We love you guys. Peace. Peace.